Welcome back to another episode of WordPress Insights by Pixelworm. In today's episode, we're going to go over another plugin that you can use to manage images on your website. In, in particular, the file sizes uh, of the images that you upload to your site. If you followed our previous episode, we demoed a free plugin called Insanity, which is an awesome plugin um, that you should definitely be using on your site. But in this episode, we're going to go over another free plugin. It's called, and I'll show you now, we're going to go to the plugins section. We're going to click add new. And all you have to do is type in EWWW and it should be the first result. It is EWWW image optimizer. So what this plugin does, it reduces the file sizes of images in WordPress and it includes the next gen the grand uh, fire gallery and more are uh, using the lossless and lossy methods and image format conversions. It is an extremely popular plugin installed on over 200 WordPress installations and has a very um, high rating of four and a half stars uh, by 197 different users. So if you want to look at more details, you can click on the more details link and it'll give you some more further information about the plugin itself. You can look at the installation information, screenshots, change logs, so you can see what they've added, what they've changed, how they've updated the plugin itself, and some of the FAQs about the plugin and some information that you might find useful. They don't have other notes, but they do have uh, reviews of people who have used the plugin. Alright, so we're going to install this plugin now. Click the installation button. It's going to install it. We're going to activate the plugin. All right, so now we have it active. Um, as you see, we have Insanity. We deactivated that plugin and we deleted the previously uploaded images. So we can start from scratch with this one. So we're going to see how can we configure this uh, plugin EWWW Image Optimizer. You have two ways in your plugins uh, page of your WordPress admin dashboard. You can click on the settings link here or in your sidebar on your admin dashboard you can hover over settings and then go down to EWWW image optimizer link. Either way you'll be brought over to this um, basic settings page. If you have a API key you can input that information here and you'll be given some other additional features but that is a paid part of the solution uh, but the free part is highly beneficial. So the first thing I would recommend doing is remove the metadata. This will remove all metadata, the exifs and comments, things of that nature. Those, um, that metadata does increase file size um, a little bit and when we're talking about page load time, when we're talking about file sizes, every bit counts. So I would recommend checking this or remove the metadata. Um, if you want to use debugging per, uh, debugging mode, uh, you can use this to provide information for support purposes. Or if you feel comfortable digging around in the code to fix a problem you're experiencing, so you would just click that. I tend to leave that off. And if you are not concerned about lossy JPEG optimization, you can click this. Um, it's not noticeable by the vast majority of people, but you know sometimes you know you might notice it depending on the image. So that is hit or miss. I tend not to check that one off. And the same thing goes for the PNG optimization. If you want to have a delay in how long images uh, will be processed, um, this is because it does use the website server processing power uh, to process these images. And if you have a significant amount of images that you're optimizing, it can slow down your server by because it's using the resources. So you can choose a configuration here if you want. Moving on to the advanced settings, I tend to leave these settings uh, the same. So Opti PNG optimization level there. And then you see the um, other options you have here. I tend to leave it at level 2 8 trials you can move that up if you want to, to level 3 16 trials and if you want to have um, you know different PNG out optimization levels you can choose that here 
and then if you want to schedule the optimizations of your your website you can do that as well and this is so that way it spaces out um, how often it optimizes the images folders to optimize if you want to optimize specific folders you can put that in there and if you want to defer optimization you can click that I tend to leave most of these um, the same if you want to disable automatic optimizations you can do that images will not be optimized on upload images may be optimized with the bulk optimized tools or with scheduled optimization I'm gonna click this for now only because since I deleted the images on my site I want to uh, first upload the images and then do a comparison if you want to include media library folders you can do that so and then if you want you can disable resizes if you want for specific um, specific file size that you might have on your on your theme settings if you want to skip the small images skip the large PNG images you can do that here I tend to not check that off and if you want to exclude full size images from lossy optimization you can do that and again if you want to exclude the full size images from metadata removal you can do that as well and then these are just some other options here if you want to disable this disable PNG out is checked by default because it is a better settings to have as there might be some conflict with other um, other configuration files so leave that checked and then for conversion settings we're gonna go here if you're running um, a network of sites and you have a network of admins you can check this off uh, to um, uh, to prevent other users from using the conversion links in the media library and if you want to delete the original you can do that as well I tend to do this because it makes more sense sense for server space now the images that are optimized if you don't check this off you have the original image on your server and then you have the resized images on, on your website so your users will always be provided the the um, the resized images but if you have limited space on your server since computers you do come with limited space you might want to have this checked off so the original image won't be saved and then you can go through these settings over here there are some warnings so definitely read through this if you want to learn more about those I tend to leave those alone I tend to leave all these alone and just go down to the bottom where it says enable the GIF and PNG to PNG conversion. Since there is no issues, this is fine uh, to use. So save changes. All right. So now let's add some images to our library. We're going to add two images. They are the same images that we previously had. And we're going to take a look at some information about those. Let's look at the surfer. As you remember from a previous tutorial on the Insanity plugin, we saw the file size of this one was 3 megabytes and the dimensions was 4,288 by 2848. All right, so that's that one. Let's go back to our library. And let's look at the water one. We see that one's 1 megabyte and 2592 by 1565. All right, so now let's see if what happens when we optimize these since we had it said not to optimize on upload if you look in your media library section you see on the right hand side image optimizer the images are not processed so the image size it gives you the image sizes it gives you a little bit different size here uh, for some reason but don't worry too much about that just click on optimize now and it's going to optimize that surfer image and it shows you that it saved you um, it reduced the image size uh, by a little bit by 0.1 percent not a lot but hey every single bit counts and then we're going to process this one as well the water one and then it shows you that one saved uh, 0.2 percent so again this is you know a little bit of savings that you get and the image quality is not impacted now if you combine that with the insanity plugin and if you activate that and then we go to the settings insanity and then we 
search images and then we resize okay so now we're going to go to the library we're going to see that the surfer image is 72 kilobytes here but that's rounded up so if you go back to the library you can see it's down to 71.85 kilobytes. So that is a significant. That is a great savings with the combination of Insanity working in conjunction with EWW Image Optimizer. Now you get the greatest savings with Insanity because it literally takes an extremely large uh, image that has large width, like 4,000 pixels, and uh, by 2500 pixels and reduces it to like 1140 by 700 and change uh, proportionally so you get the greatest savings with that plugin and then with the EWW image optimizer plugin you get to reduce that image size just a little bit more and when you're talking about page load times and images and pay web page uh, sizes you know increasingly going up you know every single bit count so even if it's 1% 0.1% or you know a 20% reduction that is something that um, is beneficial not only to you but to your website visitors and we know that since Google and Bing are using uh, page load times uh, when, as a ranking factor for their algorithm uh, you want to make sure that you're serving the fastest and the smallest uh, page sizes to your end users and the best way to do that is to optimize your images since images tend to be the largest um, items on a web page so in this uh, episode we went over the EWW image optimizer uh, plugin it is a great plugin uh, to have installed on your WordPress powered website and with the settings that we provided for you they're very you know conservative settings they're not um, going too far in terms of optimizing you could go further and get better results um, but we like to you know just be a little bit conservative when it comes to you know optimizing images since you do want to find that balance of uh, you know great file size great images and uh, user satisfaction so we hope you enjoyed this episode um, of WordPress Insights um, from Pixelweb and in this one, we went over EWWW Image Optimizer and its settings. Stay tuned to the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe since we will be uh, providing more insights on various topics relating to WordPress over the next uh, couple of days, weeks, months, and years. And uh, we hope our goal is to help you manage your website the best way possible. So stay tuned for the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any comments, ideas, suggestions, uh, please leave them down below in the comment section and we'll get back to them. We'll get to them as soon as we can. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.